Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the lecture series uh, for the topic tracing of curves and introduction to rectification. Uh, this is a short video for uh, you to just uh, know what exactly is rectification and uh, what are different types of formulas for rectification. So in this chapter we will be considering three types of equations. First is Cartesian, uh, second is parametric and third is polar. And for each of these type of equations we have different formula. Uh, using that formula we can find the length of an arc or length of an arc of a curve. So what is basically rectification? Rectification is a process of finding the length of a curve using integration method and uh, as I said earlier there are four formulas so let us see what are those four formulas and then I will explain more on that uh, so these are the four rectification formulas and this is the first one so you can see the first and two are both Cartesian equations but this is the Cartesian equation whenever y is a function of x so that is fx equal to y and this is the formula for x being a function of y uh, so therefore f, y is, f of y is equal to x now you can see that the s denotes the arc length so if the curve is given the function is given and the curve is given and you are supposed to find a part of a curve then uh, within x1 to x2 then it can be found by using the formula s equal to integration x1 to x2 under root 1 plus bracket dy by dx whole square dx okay and uh, whenever uh, you have this Cartesian equation uh, for partic this particular uh, form then your uh, uh, rectification formula will be y1 integration y1 to y2 under root 1 plus dx by dy whole square dy okay the third equation is a parametric equation so x and y will be given in terms of t so whenever your graph uh, is given as a the equation of a graph is given as a parametric equation uh, the arc length uh, between t1 and t2 can be calculated using the formula s equal to integration t1 to t2 under root of dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square dt and then the last is polar equation so whenever your equation uh, or the graph is given in terms of a polar equation say r equal to f of theta uh, and the range of the uh, arc length is between theta 1 to theta 2 please remember that theta uh, and this theta 1 and theta 2 are angles so their range whenever I talk about range actually it sweeps the angle from theta 1 to theta 2 so that is how you find the arc length so this arc length will be then calculated with the formula s equal to integral theta 1 to theta 2 square root of r square plus dr by dt whole square dt okay uh, this dt and dt although it looks under the root but they are not under the root they are outside the root okay now once you know the formulas what basically is the algorithm to solve the examples of rectification so I have given algorithm here itself so I am just only going to read first algorithm so I am going to call that as steps to solve uh, examples of rectification so firstly what you need to do is for the given curve check the graph and find the limits of integration uh, so mostly what happens in many of the examples uh, the equations will be given and the uh, limits that is x1, x2 or y1, y2 are not given. So what we need to do is first we need to draw the graph using the equation and using the information that I have given in the previous lecture about different different graphs. Draw the graphs and then you find the limits. So for the given function after that once you have the limits then what you do is you find the first order derivative dy by dx for this particular uh, equation you find dy by dx then you write down the formula s this formula substitute all the values so what all the values the limits the derivative and then just simplify this so this will turn out to be a simple integration solve this integral example and whatever value you get that is nothing but arc length of the given uh, equation of graph uh, 
uh, if you want you can pause the video and just go through all the um, uh, algorithms for different different formula and in class uh, we will be solving more examples now in the rectification chapter there are there will be two types of examples first is single curve example and second is double curve but in the double curve we have intersection of curves so uh, let us see what uh, how we can solve examples in class before i end this lecture i would would like to tell you that if you see this link this is the link for where you get more information on the cycloids okay so if you want you can pause the video uh, write down this link and uh, you can open this uh, link in a uh, internet explorer and uh, check what is the uh, what are the different properties of cycloid or more information about cycloid now similarly even for a cardioid also i have given a link here so you can just uh, pause the video and then you can type this link into the internet explorer window okay so uh, that's it for this particular part and this is the last part of rectification if possible uh, i will make one more video for how to solve rectification examples taking examples of a single curve and a double curve so for now um, that's it Bye, see you in class.